Coucou tout le monde, c'est Capette de Coin Academy. Je suis avec Marina de Neon Labs. Donc Neon Labs, c'est un projet qui va permettre de rapporter l'EVM, donc l'Ethereum Virtual Machine, dans l'écosystème Solana. Parce que vous le savez, Solana aujourd'hui utilise le langage Rust. Ils ont leur propre smart contract. On ne peut pas porter des applications de l'écosystème Ethereum sur Solana. Et c'est exactement ce que Neon Labs va essayer d'apporter. Hello Marina. I Hello. switched to English. How are you? <laughs> great. Thank you very much. You are much. great. Yeah. yeah. So uh, you announced during the event that Neon is now mainnet, so people can start to use it. Can you explain in very simple words what you are doing and how do you do EVM on Solana? Because I think it's a little te technical. Okay. Uh, so um, we are uniting two worlds. We are uniting the Ethereum ecosystem with the Solana ecosystem. Uh, and how we do it? Uh, we do it very, very. Uh, um, Technically, <laughs> as you mentioned, so what we do, we have a smart contract, a new EVM contract, which is native to Solana on Solana. But then uh, this contract is capable of processing a Solana transaction and get information about Ethereum-like transactions put inside Solana transactions, and thus it enables the functionality of the Ethereum DApps uh, on on Solana, basically. Yeah. So in a nutshell, this is how it works, but then there is a whole ecosystem that is uh, built in order to support this functionality. Okay, so how much time did it take to bring EVM to Solana? So we started building EVM in December 2020, so it was quite a long, uh, a long time ago. But then, uh, so we had our prototype shipped to Solana in June 2021, uh, and we had the uh, like uh, uh, alpha version uh, shipped to Solana DevNet in April this year. So and eventually now we are coming to shipping to Solana mainnet uh, the beta version. Okay, so today with the mainnet, everybody can come and build? Uh, okay, uh, we will announce mainnet tomorrow. The actual mainnet launch will happen in December 12th. Okay. On December 12th, and uh, like, uh, but uh, everybody can come right now so and build on uh, Solana DevNet because we have the same uh, functionality right now on Solana DevNet, DevNet. and basically nobody builds uh, starting from mainnet. So everybody comes, builds whatever uh, he or she has on DevNet, tests, and then like yeah, uh, moves to, so to, to mainnet. Real mainnet is for December. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, but then, uh, like, as mentioned already, uh, like, we, we tested properly since April, everything. Uh, so, all major. Uh, Ethereum dApps were tested uh, in order for us to check the, that everything works correctly and the EVM is actually uh, built in a way to process all the transactions uh, from uh, uh, each type of Ethereum dApps that, that I hear. Okay, I see. So someone who like to use Solidity or Viper can use the exact same code on your uh, ecosystem or does he have to tweak a little no, his no, code? No, 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 nothing uh, has to be changed. So uh, basically the, the first thing that we wanted uh, to do and we did so that uh, a, the contract deployment should uh, run in a way how a, a, it, it's being done on Ethereum. So basically the, the guys can come, use standard Ethereum tools, uh, Truffle or whatnot, and then deploy and so without any changes to to the code base, everything works uh, perfectly well. That's it. Okay. And uh, do you have a token? Do I need to consume gas on Neon to use the smart contract on Neon? Yeah, uh, the the way we build the, the whole thing is similar to how Ethereum works. So we don't want to uh, to like uh, uh, to make users uh, uh, confuse the, the whole thing. So we want for them the same experience uh, uh, which they have on Ethereum. So basically, there will be uh, a utility token, neon token that will be issued after mainnet launch uh, that uh, will uh, be uh, used. As a gas fee, yes. so and basically it will be similar to what is uh, uh, right now available on Ethereum. Right, yep. Yeah. So let's talk about scaling. Maybe if you have a big ecosystem of application on Neon and you can't scale anymore, what did you plan to do? Uh, put more smart contracts 
or scale with roll up? No, no, no. It will go uh, <laughs> and it will develop in a different way. So basically, what are we right now uh, like doing? We are opening a window for the Ethereum DApps to Solana ecosystem. And our end goal, and it will be the next stage of our development, is to ensure the full uh, interoperability between smart contracts deployed on Neon EVM and smart contracts deployed natively on Solana. So basically, you come, for example, as an Ethereum developer, you deploy on Neon EVM and you start calling uh, some some Solana dApps uh, so for whatever reason, mm -hmm. or users mm -hmm. start start doing some transfers to Solana dApps and vice versa. So basically, it's expansion. Yes. In terms yes. of the uh, like uh, possibilities. Uh, possibilities. Yeah. yeah. So, but like, it doesn't mean that there will be many EVMs. Mm. So the EVM will stay like uh, alone on Solana, but th this like interoperability will uh, like open new opportunities for the Ethereum dApps. Okay, okay, pretty clear. And um, maybe it's another subject and not related at all, but I try. You heard maybe about IBC, Inter-Blockchain Communication Protocol yep. from Cosmos. Yep. Maybe an interoperable interoperability between apps and Solana, EVM apps and Cosmos chain using IBC with IBC implementation or it's not at all in the plan right now? Oh, it's, it's not in the plan. So, so you have to understand that uh, all those layer one blockchains, they differ a lot from each other. And so like we, we're dealing right now with Ethereum ecosystem and like Solana ecosystem. And we have to merge somehow uh, like those two worlds. And it's mm. literally very, very difficult because like they differ from the architecture perspective. They differ from the feature perspective. Like, they like, totally different so yeah. it's like it, it's not so simple to like do any any yeah. type of protocol uh, at all like in mm -hmm. like into blockchain protocols i would say because like there bridges like can be named uh, and seen like those messaging tools between different blockchains but they're not like evms so mm -hmm. it's it's not like it's not something that you will enable you to call like uh, uh, different dApps on, on other blockchains and if you want to start calling dApps like it, you have to, to, to put a lot a lot of work into uh, like your development in order to ensure that everything that everything works correctly because like them might be hacks and like it, it's something that you would love to avoid so yeah. it's like we will not like in the near future work on something like this we will just do this open window like <laughs> just yeah uh, open Between it bigger Solana like and, uh, yes Italian. to to Solana ecosystem and then we will see uh, what to do next yeah we had a pretty technical talk but i think it it is what is interesting in this way because merging ethereum and solana and taking best of both worlds is very very nice so what are the next steps so you have this mainnet coming you will try to bring as much developer as possible is there any, any alpha any milestone next that you want to achieve something that you want to bring to neon labs yeah, as mentioned already, the next step will be interoperability. Yeah. So basically, it's it's technically very complicated uh, uh, problem. So we're gonna start solving it, uh, literally like uh, programming in uh, after mainnet launch, and so and it will take us some some time to accomplish it. Yeah. And, so focus uh, on this. Yes, and then we can talk after interoperability. We can talk about full compatibility. Right? It's like a next stage. Mm. So and uh, in in parallel, we will do a lot of uh, business development because like uh, Solana is growing and mm. Solana I I is a very nice ecosystem in terms of like um, a a g going and reaching mass adoption. So I believe and uh, what we will do, we will just make sure that Ethereum devs deployed on Neon uh, like uh, can enjoy those uh, possibilities and uh, like uh, uh, options that are available on Solana. For example, uh, pre-install the uh, DAP store on uh, on Solana Mobile. So if, and we really want to have Ethereum DAPs being uh, on on, yeah. on this store. So, and like for, for mm. the Ethereum DAPs, it will be like new channels 
uh, in terms of like how to, to hit the market and how to grow user base. One last question. So it's more about tokenomics because these days we can see, for example, on Starknet or Juno, a Cosmos chain, or even on near protocol that you can pay some gas fees. You have some gas that will be burned to reduce the supply of the coin and also some gas that can be back to the developer of a smart contract as a commission fee. Is it something that you plan to do on Neon or you just want to keep it like Ethereum right now? So right now we start like <laughs> without any tweaks and changes. Yeah. So we, uh, we want to try on all like this and we will see what will happen next. So right now there nothing of that kind uh, mm. inside the protocol and so and there are no plans for for this for the moment but then going forward so it will be DAO, just like voting and mm. deciding on these things so it might decide that it should be uh, implemented so uh, but no, not, not, not right now. Yeah yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. I had very specific questions. So, how can we follow Neon Labs, Twitter, Discord? Oh, uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, quite easily. Uh, so, uh, our Twitter account is Neon Labs Arc, and then uh, we also have Discord and uh, Telegram channels. So, every single information is available on our so uh, site, neonlabs.org. Okay. Thank you very much, Marina. And uh, we will keep you posted with all the links in the description if you want to follow them. Make sure to follow them. We are very fan of Solana and Ethereum, so it can be nice to have best of both worlds. Bye to Thank you.